I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why the Road Glide is better than the Street Glide and all you guys are being deceived. Cue the intro. I'm Sean from SRK Cycles. I'm here with my new best friend, 2013 Road Glide Custom. And just to be fair, this compared to the Street Glide, honestly, they're basically the same bike with a few minor differences. Let's look at the, the history of where they both came from. Now the Road Glide Roxy Shark Nose Fairing. This looks like a shark. And this came out in the early 80s as the FLT Tour Glide. And it was, you know, the same pretty much thing. So what this is, is this is very similar to a Street Glide. This is basically a Street Glide, but instead of a fork mounted fairing where the where the fairing is mounted to the forks, and when you move the when you move the front tire, the fairing moves with it. This is a frame-mounted fairing. This is similar to what you're going to see on the Goldwing, the Vaquero, and you know most of the import uh, touring bike, touring cruiser bikes have a frame-mounted fairing just like this. And the reason they do that is for the benefits of when it comes to handling and what you feel on your hands is significantly less weight. If you actually took this fairing off, I'm going to guess it's going to weigh about 50 or 60 pounds. That's like a little child sitting on your front on your front forks that you have to turn with the bike. That's why people really like these things. So this is the 2013. This is the last year of this body style. And then the next year, uh, they came up with the Rushmore bikes. And it was the same pretty much bike, but the buttons and the gauges were slightly, mildly different. This has the 103 cubic inch, six-speed transmission. This specific bike has Reinhardt dual pipes that sound awesome. Let me just fire it up for you guys. It's got a great sound. Of course, it's got cruise control. These 103s are known to go a long time, well over 100,000 miles with no problem. 17 inch front tire. It also has these awesome little storage compartments right here that you can throw your phone in. And of course, this is throttle by wire. Now, another difference about this bike is you feel like you have more space on the road glide. I'm 6'2", and you can see I've got tons, I mean, I got tons and tons of space. You just feel a little more open. The street glide's gonna come, gonna come in a little closer to you. Um, that's why a lot, of the, a lot of like, you know, real tall guys, they'll normally pick the road glide over the street glide, just for just the, the space aspect of it. So this is the road glide custom. And this also comes in a couple different models. Um, some years you could just get a road glide. Some years you can get the road glide custom. And then they have the road glide ultra. The road glide ultra has the tour pack up here and the extra speakers. And then actually the most expensive Harley Davidson you can buy is the CVO Road Glide. But they're, they're pushing in around like $45,000. Really cool looking bikes with the, custom, with the custom paint scheme and custom colors. So the real true comparison to, to figure out whether you want the Road Glide or the Street Glide is the ride test. Let's hop on it. Let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, before we do the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom. Hebrews 4, 16. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace and help in, to help in times of need. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to forget that right there. Just, there's no doubt in my mind. All right, let's put on the gloves. Guys, gloves are very important. You can definitely shred up your hands if you don't have proper gloves. If you ever wonder what kind of gloves I wear, the only gloves I wear now, M1 Moto gloves. If you're interested, click on the link below. These bars are turned up a lot. I'd probably prefer them turned back a little bit. But you can see, there's a lot more room. This is much more forward than the, uh, I mean, you almost can't even reach the, st the stereo. The stereo for the electric light would be like right here. You definitely feel a lot more spaced out. A lot of guys, I've heard this story a bunch of times where people have been riding Harleys forever and then they go and jump on a, a, a road glide and they fall in love. They didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like, the, I, I'll admit, I, didn't, I never liked the way they look until I rode one and then it's kind of an acquired taste. And now, now I think they're awesome, mainly because they're unique. You don't see them as much. It's a, uh, it's a unique look, but I've definitely acquired it. I think they look great. I think they look awesome. 
I think the newer ones do look a little better than the older ones. But you gotta love that. You gotta love that shark face. Face. Let's uh, we'll go straight. We'll jump on the highway. So it's a killer cruiser bike. This is in the this is in the baddest. This is in the line of the you know the biggest Harley Davidsons. So probably not the best bike for an entry level rider. This is one of the heavier bikes out there. You know, weighing in it over uh, well over 800 pounds. But there, you know, it 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 does handle well. What's this? Cigarette lighter. I think in the in the older road glides, these actually open up a different way, or maybe it's a newer one. Somehow they just actually change and they open up in a different way. But for a lot of guys that are riding Harleys, it, it kind of freaks them out. It's they think it's too weird that the fairing does not move. But that's how gold wings are. That's how that's how most other cruiser touring motorcycles are, from BMW to all the BMWs and all the uh, Vulcans. The Vaquero and the, the Nomad and the well, Nomad doesn't have a fairing, but the Voyagers, all of it, same way. And it makes sense. It makes sense. Why move all of that? Why should all of that be moving? We're gonna jump on the highway. Now, as far as I know, I've not actually had it in the 80s, like the FLHTs. I forget what they call it, FLHT something. But all the road glides I've ever had has this very similar dash. The speedometer, tachometer, the gauges, and the stereo up there. Man, that stereo is far away. You can fit a whole other seat between you and that stereo. You pop this thing open, bam, throw in a CD. For all you young guys and you don't know what a CD is, it's like an MP3 that's on a disc. What's a disc? It's like a frisbee. It's like a metal looking frisbee that you keep in your pocket, but it's actually made of plastic. Now the stereo is good on these things, but the stereo is better on the Ultras because it has more speakers. And then when they do the CVOs, they do even more speakers on it. But there's always modifications. There's plenty. I mean, you have two fairly large speakers right there. Four by sevens, five by sevens. I don't know. I don't know how big they are, but they're right there. They're right in your face. So you, it's always, there's always room to mod them up, but they're actually pretty decent from this from factory. Someone's gonna jump on here and say they're junk from the factory, and that's true with most stuff compared to if you're gonna spend a bunch of money on it. So you look over here. You got your cruise control settings. Over here, audio settings, everything you ever need. If you want to put cruise control, you have to turn it on, and then light comes on and then when you actually uh when you set it we're not going fast enough when you set it that changes from like orange or red to green and then you know it's set then you know it kicks in you can disable you can disable it just like a car by doing anything grab a brake grab the clutch any brake roll off the th you can actually roll off the throttle roll back on the throttle and it will it will disengage the cruise control it's pretty cool one of those things when you're on a big long trip and you got to give your hand a break throw it in on cruise and just let the left hand do all the work all right let's see what we can do on zero to 60. lately my zero to 60s have been really really crummy let this guy go doing a good zero to 60 or quarter mile is all about the start and if you don't get a good start you could lose you know seconds all right is a six-speed transmission so you got all the gears you could possibly want and that fairing you know somehow I'm still feeling wind it's blocking it's actually doing a great job blocking all the wind from hitting my helmet but my arms and everything are still getting cooled down actually a little bit better than you would with a uh, with an all uh, with it uh with the electroglide platform the most expensive motorcycle we've ever sold was a CVO Road Glide. 
it was like not quite maybe it was one year old at 10,000 miles beautiful bike we sold it to a guy in Florida I love how these things run they handle great if I had to choose between a road glide and a street glide okay it's like TV it's like when you're TV shopping when you're TV shopping you're like oh man which one do I choose when you actually take one home you don't care if you're not you're not like oh I should have got that other one all you care about is watching the show so you really can't go wrong with either one now one might fit you better than the other one either way you go you really can't go wrong but get which one you like if you like the if you think one's ugly, get the other one. If you think they're both ugly, why are you, why are you buying it? That's funny. That big wing on, that eagle wing on there. So, alright guys, that wraps it up. Do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our other channel, Bikes and Beards. The Bikes and Beards channel. We're actually doing two videos a week now. One on Wednesday and one on Friday. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you're interested in buying these gloves, these are lined with Kevlar. These are extremely, extremely durable. Um, almost overkill for riding motorcycles. But you know what? When you're riding bikes, you need that. Guys, we'll see you later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. Hold up, I'm back. I didn't mention this, but this is very true. This bike is just so much lighter. Now, when I say it handles better, what I mean is it's just lighter. It's just lighter in the corners everything about it just throws into the corner so much better it's um which is which is very relaxing that's what i mean when i say it handles better all right that wraps it up we're done now go go watch the next video we'll see you guys later